Let's look at an example. This is the same toy data set that we used to illustrate hierarchical clustering. The first step is to select the number of clusters to break the data into. I'm selecting two, so k is equal to two. And then the next step is to uh, seed the algorithm or start the algorithm with some initial um, cluster means. We're going to choose point A, observation A, and observation C as the two um, cluster means. So A will be the mean for cluster 1 and C will be the mean for cluster 2 just to start the algorithm. There's no, no real reason to choose these two. I'm just suppose we randomly select two points that will form the means of the two clusters to start the algorithm. All right, so the first step then is to calculate the distance between each observation and each of those means. So this column here are the distances between observations A, B, C, D, and E, and the mean for cluster 1. So it's a 0 is the distance between A and the mean for cluster 1, because they're the same point, obviously. Um, the distance between observation B and the mean for cluster 1 is the distance between these two values. 1 minus 1 is 0, 1 minus 0 is 1, and so the distance is equal to 1. So these are the, all the distances between observations A, B, C, D, and E and cluster mean 1. And this column contains the distances between each observation and the means for the mean of cluster 2. Right, so that's the first step. You have to calculate all of these distances. And then the next step is to work out which is the smallest of the two. Um, so between these two, 0 is the smallest. So A would be allocated to cluster 1. Um, between the next two, 1 is the smallest. It would be allocated to cluster 1. Um, of the next two, 0 is smaller than 1.4. Um, so C would be allocated to cluster 2. 2.8 is smaller than um, 3.2. So D would be allocated to cluster 2. And 4.2 is smaller than 4.5. So E would be allocated to cluster 2. So at this point, we've got A and B in cluster 1, and C, D, and E in cluster 2. And now we need to um, recalculate the cluster means. So the cluster means at this second step, um, are the means for A and B would be the mean for cluster 1. So I'm going to calculate the means here, um, basically of these two. And that will give us a mean for cluster 1 of 1 and 0.5. And then we calculate the mean of the next three points, C, D, and E, and that will give us the mean for cluster 2. Um, plot these on the data plot again. There's the mean of cluster 1 now. It's halfway between A and B. Here's the mean for cluster 2, um, closer to D. So cluster 1 is A and B, and cluster 2 is C, D, and E. Our right, next step is to recalculate the distances from of each point from the cluster means, both cluster means. So that's what we have over here. We've recalculated the distances between A, B, C, D, and E, and the mean for cluster 1. And here are the distances of those observations from the mean for cluster 2. Then we need to go pairwise and look at the smallest of the two. 0.5 is smaller than 2.7, so A would be as allocated to cluster 1. 0.5 is smaller than 3.7, so B would be allocated to cluster 1. 1 1.8 is smaller than 2.4, C would be allocated now to cluster 1. 0.5 is smaller than 3.6, D would be allocated to cluster 2. And 1.9 is smaller than 4.9, so it would be allocated to cluster 2. So at this point we have... A, B, and C are in cluster 1, and D and E are in cluster 2. So we need to recalculate the means. The mean of the first cluster is the mean of these three points, A, B, and C, and would get a mean of 0.7 and 1. And the mean of cluster 2 would be the mean of D and E, which would be 2.5 and 4.5. Right, so reassign each of the observations. So we'll plot those 
means first, that's the mean for cluster one, and here's the mean for cluster two. And then um, there's our cluster one is A, B and C in that cluster, and cluster two is D and E. So the next step is to recalculate the means, uh, recalculate the distances from each observation to each of the means, and, um, and then reassign points to their nearest mean. What we'd find if we actually did that is that there would be no more changing of points to clusters. Um, this is the stable solution. A, B and C stay in there, stay together and D and E stay together. So the k-means um, solution for two clusters are these two um, partitions.